so hello dear students so today we are going to learn values and data type that is chapter number four so in this chapter so there are few things that you need to know that is number one is character set okay java character set so in java what do you mean by character set so a character set means it is a group of characters okay but that group of characters is known as a set so out here a character set is a set of valid characters that a language can recognize it means that suppose uh, there are so many characters okay there may be some characters may be invalid some may be valid so how can we say this is valid or that is invalid means there are certain rules and regulation so we have to follow that and that rules and regulations are based on the programming language that is we are talking about java so that's why they have said that a language can recognize so whatever the character we are going to give insert whether that is being recognized by that java or not java programming language or not so if all those collection of characters um, set uh, all those collection of characters that is being recognized by this java programming language so that is known as a java character set so actually this character consists of what this set may consist of what values so it can contain letter digit or any other sign okay any other sign letter means capital e small letter e to z digit means 0 to 9 and any other sim sign means question mark colon at the rate has they are known as the other sign okay so there are very important uh, character set that uh, generally comes in your exam also in icc that is unicode okay what is unicode and another is ascii code okay so this unicode means it is a two byte character code okay unicode is what it is a two it is a two byte character code set that has that has what that has characters representing almost all character in almost all human alphabet and writing system around the world including english arabic chinese and many more so that means what is unicode so this is one type of coding system used in java okay so it occupies two byte means 16 bit character code set so here it can be represented in almost all the languages that are present in this world in this universe whatever the languages are there okay whatever the languages are there in this universe so all those languages can be uh, recognized by this unicode can be represented in the unicode okay so in, if in exam it comes what is unicode so you can say that it is a two byte character code that has characters representing almost all the characters in all human understandable languages okay it can be written in any languages so the first 128 characters in the unicode are identical to common okay no need to go through this okay just whatever i said it is a two byte character code that has high character representing almost all characters in almost all human alphabets okay you write that one so now the another code is known as ASCII A -S -C -I -I. so the full form of ASCII -I is American standard code for information interchange okay American standard code for 
information interchange that is the full form of ascii okay that is the full form of ascii and ascii is also what you can say that this is also one type of character set okay and basically it is represented in 7 bit or 8 bits character code okay it can be represented in 7 bit or 8 bit character code and there are certain ascii values okay there are ascii values of each letters and digit some symbols also have their ascii value for example the ascii value of character a okay the ascii value of character a is 65 and it will go on uh, just we have to remember capital a so till z you can easily find how so b will be 66 c will be 67 d will be 68 like that it will go on okay it will go on till 90 so z means 90 so you can check once and small a means 97 small a means 97 okay that is the ascii code of small a is 97 okay and then uh, cap a small z will be 122 i think 121 or 122 you can check that okay if you keep on increasing 98 99 so you can easily identify okay you can easily know the value and 0 to 9 the ascii value of 0 is 48 okay as there are digits 0 to 9 so the ascii code of the digits is for 0 it is 48 for 1 it is 49 okay it will go on till 9 okay for the digit 9 okay fine so now comes what is tokens so what do you mean by token in java so token is nothing but it is a small sc in the rightmost corner uh, in the re uh, rectangular box in green color they have mention the definition you can write that so the smallest individual unit in a java program is known as token so for example if we have written one java program um, has uh, for example import java dot util dot asterisk then public class class name curly brace then main function then variable in tb dot 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 so each an individual term okay each an individual terminology used in this program is known as tokens so there are various types of tokens in java means when we write down the program so that program consists of various things for example the name of the variable class name okay they are the identifiers and there are certain keywords for example import java dot util then uh, system dot out dot print int uh, flow double we write down like that semicolon uh, then curly braces so all this are known as the tokens but there are various names there are different name for the variable abc comma uh, okay curly braces the keyword the different items are present in the program so that constitute overall constitute the tokens so now in under the tokens so there are various types okay there are various kinds of tokens number one is keyword then identifier then literals then punctuators and then the last one is operators so now what is keyword okay now what do you mean by keyword so we know that keyword are the reserved words okay that they are the reserved words that has a special meaning okay they have a special meaning and they can't be used all those 
all those keywords can be used for other purposes okay they can be used for some other purposes for example if i want to in use int as a variable name if i want to use for as the variable name we can't do that so that's why keyword are known as the reserved words they are known as the reserved words and they have special meaning okay and they have what special meaning right okay so now see there various types of tokens are given there boolean do if private this break double dot dot so many keywords okay these are the keywords that are used in java programming so next is identifier so what do you mean by identifier see identifiers are the names they are the names given to identify different building blocks of a program such as variable class method etc okay so identifiers are what they are known as the they are known or they are the named memory location okay they are the names that are basically used to identify different building blocks so for example we write down int a so a is actually a variable but in general we call it as an identifier so when we write down class class name so that class name is known as the identifier so identifier is the general term that are used in various blocks in different blocks okay they are known as the building blocks they are the name given to identify different building blocks of a program such as variable class we give the name of a function also so they are known as the identifiers okay and how do we begin how do we give the identifiers so it should always starts with a letter capital small letter or you can start with dollar sign or underscore so other than that you can't use digits at the beginning okay you can't use digit or you can't give space in between the word and you can't give minus sign in between okay only underscore you can use so that are the rules and regulation for the identifier so now let us go to this next that is literal so what do you mean by literal so literal are known as the fixed value okay constant value so the values can be number also whole number also it can be decimal number also it can be uh, boolean number also that means either true or false so we call it true or false okay so now literals can be defined as a constant they are the data items okay they are known as the data items that are fixed data values so see there for example uh, you can say that uh one uh, a is equals to 125 uh pi equals to 3.141 like that okay they are known as the literals fixed value whose value can't be altered whose values remain same as it is it can't be changed okay they are known as the literals okay and there are various kind of literals that is it can be whole number then we call it as integer literal if it is decimal we call it float if it is in true and false we call it boolean literal if it is uh, within single code that is character and if it is in double code we call it as a string okay and null is the empty null is the empty blank right okay so similarly see character boolean floating literals it can be of any type okay so till here i think all of you are clear 
सो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन आस्क मी ओके